You need to give God as many chances as you give that man. And I, oh, and I, ah, yeah, like that. Hello, everyone. How is everybody feeling? Are we feeling as good as I'm looking? My hairstylist is truly insane. This is my own hair vendor that I'm wearing. So I don't know, like maybe I might, I don't know. Maybe I might be selling something. I, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. And I'm being so serious. I'm not even being sarcastic. But I'm obsessed with how the hair came out. My stylist, Risha, really slowed me. Okay. Now, as you guys can see in today's Rover Rant, I said to myself, I will not be filming at night ever again because I just looked like the lighting just wasn't giving. It just looked so bad. Who even knows if I'm actually I'm actually gonna post it or not? Um, but it's fine. As you guys can see, we are legitimately in my Rova Ova Ova. And we are gonna be talking about being your own rescue. I think it's so important to talk about this because to be transparent with you, there have been so many times in my life where I feel like I have truly like given over my power to circumstances and situations and kind of wanted a life vest to come and save me. And I'm here to tell you, fast forward, the, the real truth is that there, there really is no one coming to save you other than our Lord and Savior. But you really have to take control of your own life, okay? Now, I also want to preface this by saying that as I've gotten older and I have acquired more wisdom and knowledge, I also know that God puts us in situations so that we don't have to rely on our own strength. And it is so easy to forget that being in our own human form that we don't realize that God doesn't want us to have to work things out by ourselves. And I saw something that was so inspirational to me and really resonated with me. It was this guy, I don't remember what his name was. I'm sure I've mentioned him before, but he was sharing his testimony and basically saying that God wants us to rely on him. So whenever we say that we are making things happen and that it is our own doing, it's really not. Like it's God that enables all of the good things to happen in our lives. And that is something that I really hold near and dear and true to my heart because I absolutely know that. And once I had that revelation, it just really clicked so well for me that it's almost difficult for me to articulate because I realized, wow, so many instances I'm thinking like, I got to do it. Like it's all on me and it's not. And so when I even say you are your own rescue, it's basically me saying to get out of your own way, but allowing God to step into your life and also recognizing that it is a partnership right? It really is. You have to help yourself in the sense where you reach out to him, only him for that life vest and not look to other people because you're always going to be disappointed by people. So I think first tip when it comes to being your own rescue is embracing your personal responsibility. I get it. Things happen in life. You don't understand why it's happening to you. And this is another thing. Victims create more victims. They really, really do. And so if you're in a position where you're being, you're feeling like, oh my gosh, if it wasn't for this, then I would be able to do this. And although those things may very well seem and very much feel like they actually are true, I'm telling you, that it may not be the road that you want to take, but there always is a little light at the end of the tunnel. There really always is. And it's about understanding how your choices and understanding how your actions led to a certain outcome. Instead of waiting for someone else to step in and save the day and, 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 and relieve you of things, and this is really genuinely not to be pessimistic at all, I find it to be empowering to be your own hero in that sense and to take charge of your decisions. That way you're not walking by life feeling like it's happening to me, it's happening to me. No, it's happening for you. It's happening for your greater good. Everything happens for a reason. And when you start to look at life from that 
perspective, a lot more is going to make sense. It makes you more of an intentional person. So you're not one of those floaters in life, numbing yourself through self-medicating yourself with whatever it is to get through things instead of actually going to what I believe is the only real source, which is Jesus Christ himself. Next, it is so important in these types of situations to cultivate resilience. Life is going to always throw so many challenges our way, but what really matters is how we handle those challenges that we are presented with. You many times, and I have, honestly, that I wanted to just give up. I didn't want to do YouTube anymore. So much stuff was going on in the background for me. I felt so defeated at so many different points. I felt like, why did I come this far to only get this far? Why is this person trying to bring me down when I'm not doing anything to them? What is the meaning of this? All of these different thoughts are going through my head. Why are people so odd and mean and like vindictive for literally next to no reason? Why are people so miserable? I still don't even have the answers to that, those questions. The difference is I genuinely don't care. That's the difference now. I do not care because I'm living my life for me. And I'm telling you this and sharing this with you so that you don't have to make the mistakes that I have. So that if you watch this and you're just maybe thinking, oh, whatever, like it is what it is. It's like, uh, no, no, because sometimes Yes, circumstances, they are unfortunate. Things are gonna happen to you in life. It is not possible to live your life and walk away completely unscathed. It is not a possible thing. However, what I want you guys to understand is that every test is to build that resilience and build that character. I know for a fact, right here and right now, at this point in my life, that there is no way that anyone I don't care what's being said about me. I don't care what's being done to me. You're not, you're not winning anything. Misery loves company, okay? People love talking about people. Miserable people do at the very least. And I'm not a part of that vortex. I, we don't live on the same planet. And there will be, which is even more painful, right? There will be circumstances in your life that feel completely unwarranted and they very well actually might be. The difference is we have to create our own lifeboat. It is okay to ask for help, but I think it's important to develop the skills to help ourselves weather our own storm. And I personally believe in my answer that the only way to do that is an amalgam of anchoring myself in my faith and reading my Bible daily, no matter what struggles that I go through, because I told you guys, when I was going through so much spiritual warfare, the first three years of me being on YouTube, I've only been on YouTube for like four and a half years only. And I was going through so much stuff in the background. And I just was like, why is this happening to me? I did nothing to warrant this. I almost wish I did because then it would actually make sense. But you ever have something happen to you and you're just like, I'm scared because I genuinely didn't do anything to warrant this. Yeah, those types of situations, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. The lengths that people will go, you know, to try and take your job. I'm, I'm sure corporate girlies can relate to this as well, or it may, anywhere, I don't even care where you are in life. Anyone can relate to this. People trying to take things from you. People feeling like you don't deserve what it is that you have. Maybe even people feeling like, you know, they're just jealous. Like people, jealousy is a real thing. Envy is a real thing. People feeling like, oh, I don't want you to talk to so-and-so because you may steal this person from me. That's like jealousy. Envy is, I don't think you deserve what you have. I think I should have it. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get in your way so that you don't get it. Can you imagine being that pathetic? Cause that's really what it is. It's called being pathetic. And so I want you guys to know, people that come into your life and they try to take things from you, they try to dim your light, they try to stir up confusion and all these different things because they're very miserable. How is it, you can't tell me that you're happy in life, you're thriving in life, but yet you have time to do miserable activities. That's why I say, when you're stalking your ex on social media, I get it, initially it happens, you wanna keep up, you wanna see what's going on with them. But after a while, it's like, all right, you have to really cut that out because you're gonna, you're, you can, a whole year can go by and all you've ever done is keep up with the Joneses. 
a whole year can go by and that's all you've done. So my advice is to understand that you need to build the coping skills, the emotional intelligence, the resilience to weather your own storms by grace through faith. Next, set realistic goals for yourself when it comes to being your own rescue. People love doing this whole, I'm gonna go from point A to Z. Sweetie, you don't work out literally at all. Like, back it up and redo it. You don't work out literally at all. What makes you think, and I get it, ooh, you're an overachiever, go you. What makes you think you're gonna go from not doing anything, you're really eating burgers and fries every day, and you think that going from Southern Fried Homicide that you're gonna just turn into like healthy, like super healthy vegan queen? I'm not saying that it's impossible. What I'm saying is you have to get granular. That Rome was not built in a day. It wasn't built in a day. So it's not going to be any different for you. You have to, it is the small changes. I'm listening to uh, Atomic Habits. Highly recommend that book that you guys listen to it on Audi Audible or you actually read the book. He talks about the fact that small changes are what actually create the bigger ones. We as human beings always want drastic changes, drastic things to happen, because that means we're really making progress. But when the goals are too big, and they are unrealistic from your starting point, and that's not being negative, okay, this is actual science. You're making it harder for yourself to want to complete those things. But if every day, let's say you wanna be a morning person, instead of saying, I'm gonna wake up an hour earlier, then say, I'm gonna wake up mm, five minutes earlier, then 10 minutes earlier, da 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 da, you keep going, da da da, you know what I mean? You can't, you can't just go from A to Z. It wasn't a, a habit that was built in three seconds. So why would it take necessarily three seconds to, you know, start something new? And then he also talks about James Clear. He talks about the two minute rule where anything you do, just try and do it for two minutes, 120 seconds. That's all you have to do. And then go on to the next task. And this also corresponds to me when it comes to the Pomodoro method. Like if you have attention uh, problems or something like that and focusing on trying to get yourself to focus on a task and, and you just can't do it, the next best thing to do is to say, okay, let me turn on Pomodoro method on YouTube. You can study with somebody and so Every time they are studying, it's what? You do 20 minutes of, of studying or completing a task and then you have a certain amount of time that's that's going to be off and the timer's already done for you. So it's super simple and easy to follow and that is an example of a realistic goal you could set for yourself. You have trouble focusing, you have to say to yourself, when I work, I work, when I play, I play. That means when I'm working, I'm gonna be working for the 10 minutes, for the 15 minutes, the 20 minutes, da, da, da. Then I'm going to take a five minute break. That way when I'm on my phone for five minutes, I'm on my phone for those five minutes because I know I'm gonna get a break again after the next 20 minute session and it's keeping everything flowing and going, honey. Okay, so that's an example. Like you are, if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired in life, I'm telling you, no one's gonna wake up and be like, hey girl, make sure you do this. Because even if your friends were to be calling you and staying on top of you, you're not going to wanna do it because you think that you want someone to go and tell you what to do every day, but you're gonna build up resistance against that too. Because at the end of the day, we have to build that character and that grit and that resilience by ourselves. That means in order to implement those things, we have to set realistic goals for ourselves. Set goals that align with your passions and your strengths. That is what setting realistic goals are about. Out, okay if you cannot do a task I'm not saying you could never do it but what I'm saying is why are we killing trying to kill ourselves over you know you know things that we can't do like for instance I don't enjoy editing you guys know I have like literally like one of the best editors like literally in the universe like JT does all my editing stuff for me I'm so grateful that I get to delegate that task to him because I don't enjoy it I tried it a million times I love the idea of you know, flirting with the idea of wanting to get it done, but I just don't enjoy it. And now I'm, I've been fortunate enough that I've been able to work with him for a couple years now, and I'm never going back. In the beginning, I had to get over the learning curve before I was able to outsource and say, hey, like, this is something I have to try and figure out so I could at least get content out there. Next, as it pertains to being your own rescue, is learning and growing. 
As obvious as that may sound, life is a continuous experience. Don't be afraid to expand your knowledge. Some people are so close-minded. They're so close-minded. Well, I don't feel like it takes all of that. Okay, okay. You ever heard of, if you can, you can. And if you can't, you're right. You simply can't. Whatever you say, that is a prophecy for yourself. That's going to be a self-fulfilled prophecy for you. So when you're expanding your mind, this is the time in your being your own rescue journey to start filling yourself up with so much knowledge, podcasts, audiobooks, okay? Informative YouTube channels like this one. Really learning and growing and expanding because it's planting a seed. You wanna fill your head, you wanna fill your mind with things that are spiritually, emotionally, even physically fulfilling for yourself, for your soul. And when you learn new things, it can open new doors for you and it equips you with the tools to be able to tackle any situation that may come your way because you are building the emotional intelligence and resilience. There's no such thing as listening to really informative and great podcasts and then it just literally going nowhere in life. No, it's everything, you, no one can take away the knowledge that you have. They can't copy your spirit though, right? And when you work on yourself and you're working on yourself, I promise you it's gonna pay off. Help God help you, okay? Like, like literally just like, God, like I need your help. I cannot do this alone. Like I need to be able to have someone that is stable, that's reliable, that I know can help me on this journey. Can you help me? And I promise you, like, you're going to be able to get the answers as long as you put yourself out there. You put yourself out there for so many different things. I saw a quote, I think I posted on Instagram. It was saying, you need to give God as many chances as you give that man. And I, oh, and I, ah, yeah, like that. Now this one is so important. Well, they're all important, but this is super important. Prioritizing your self-care and your well-being is so fundamental, I'm telling you, because a lot of the times when we are lost in life, we like to pour into other people. Yeah, right? It's not, it's not just me, right? I haven't been the only one that's been there. No, it's you too. Listen, you're sitting here trying to pour from an empty cup. You can't rescue anyone, not even yourself, if you're running on empty. So you have to prioritize your well-being. You have to be nourished. And I'm not saying that just because you may be going through something in life, that means that you can't be of service to someone else. That is not what it is that I'm saying. But if you find yourself almost using rescuing other people or making an attempt to and trying to save other people as a way to not do the work for yourself, yeah, you know that you're the type of person that needs to make sure that you're filling yourself up so that you can come from a place of fulfillment. This one, I love this tip. This is about embracing change. Change is the only constant we have in life. It is literally the only constant that we have. And embracing this is an essential part of being your own rescue. Things are going to change. Things are not gonna go as planned. But having that adaptability is gonna help you navigate through life's changes and transitions more smoothly and turn them into opportunities for growth. That's the difference between people who have a problem for every solution and people who have a solution for every problem. There is a difference. People that cannot embrace change are people that will not grow in life. These are going to be people that are miserable. They're stuck on what happened in 20, uh, 2001. We don't care. We've had enough of you. Life has to go on. Nobody gets to stay stuck in stucky land, right? And gets, we don't, we, I'm sorry. We don't care. God cares, but we don't. So, with that being said, you have to say, okay, what are my options here? What can I do? Because nobody likes to be around professional victims. And that's what some people are. So that's what some of you are, professional victims. Oh, but you don't get it. Really, I don't? Girl, we're so sick and tired of hearing it. We get it. He did this to you. We get it. She did this to you. How many times are you gonna talk about it? We don't care. Do better, move on. What? 
what is the solution here? What is the solution here? Talking, 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 and there's no walking, walking, walking. We've had enough. There has to be action. Action is the antidote for procrastination. That's another thing, action behind things. Cause some people, they just wanna be heard. I know people like that. There's this girl that I once knew and like all she wants to do is complain about her problems. I, I listen to her like, oh my gosh, like I'm really sorry that that happened to you, like genuinely. And then the next time I see her, you just like, wow, like you just don't understand. like, And I'm like, okay, like I'm noticing a pattern here. Like you just really don't, you really just don't, you don't want a solution. You want to be heard over and over again. That feels good to you, huh? Cause why? You want pity. You want pity from people cause you pity yourself. That's what you want. And you can't pity yourself. If you're gonna grab life and get in the driver's seat, you cannot pity yourself. And it is so easy to fall into that victim mentality. And let me tell you this, victims create other victims. You need to not be a victim. And lastly, I wanna say, Celebrate your small victories. You know, all the different milestones and even sometimes still I struggle with realizing like, wow, like having over 200,000 people subscribe to my channel is a lot. And sometimes in all transparency, I look at it and I'm like, man, I grew so fast at one point. I know what personally happened. I know the challenges and things like that, that I felt that I was faced with at the time that contributed to me not wanting to show up in the space anymore. However, I know that I have the potential. If I had the potential, you know, to get to 100K, I know, I, and I had the potential to double it. I know I also have the potential to triple it, quadruple it, you know, all these different things to infinity and beyond. And it makes me, whenever I think of it, it, it's like, wow, I am so grateful. I was just talking about this the other night. I am so grateful to even be where I am, that even my problems or the issues I face are the issues that I get to face. Because there was a point in time where I wished, I would have wished, that I would have been dealing with the things that I'm dealing with now. And so I just want to take this time, even if you're still watching, to say thank you for continuing to support my content. You know, I have been consistent again for, I'd say a little over a month now. We're going with having the two uploads to, to my, to my channel. And it started out with me uh, uploading frequently with my podcast. And now here we are and we're going to grow. We're going to get better. And I'm celebrating these small victories because it, it is such a big accomplishment when you look at the bigger picture. There was at one point I was struggling to show up here and now I'm uploading two uploads a week plus a podcast. You know, I try to be as active as I can on Instagram. And then it's so easy for me to look and be like, oh my gosh, but there's so much more that I want to do. Like all these different things. Like even with now having my video, one-on-one -on -one video uh, sessions and coachings, like I, I would have wanted to have done that in the past. Like I, me doing consults for the past like three and a half, four years, and now having that video element, it is also a victory that needs to be celebrated because I know that it's helping people and what I care about is impact. And so when I think in my own desires, like I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I always bring it back to, okay, but whoever's watching my content, are they growing? How is it making them feel? Do they feel understood? Do they feel like, you know, they can learn something from my content? I celebrate you. I want you to celebrate you. I appreciate you guys more than anything. I want you guys to celebrate yourself and your own victories. And more than anything, I want you to keep going. I know that the going gets rough, tough, whatever people call it, but I promise you, the name of the game is resilience. Don't give up, don't give up on yourself. You are worth all the chances you try and give to other people. You are more than whatever it is that people might try and say about you. People, they will try and bring you down, spew lies about you, all these different things, cause they're mad, they're very mad. And I never used to look at things that way because I always used to think like, oh my gosh, but I don't want to be like, you know, on like the side of like people being mean and like being ridiculed, all these different things. And I feel like God has given me the strength and the resilience to be like, so what? People talk about Jesus. Why wouldn't they talk about me? Now I'm not comparing myself to Jesus, but principally think about it. Jesus was a sinless person. Why wouldn't people talk about us? Hello. 
So when I really think about that, I'm like, oh, okay, like I'm good. I'm good. Of course you're mad. <laughs> of course you're mad. Hmm. So there's that. So in conclusion, you guys have so much power within you. You have the power to overcome obstacles, chase your dreams, and create a life that you are truly proud of. I want you guys to watch my content and feel like, oh yeah, I got this. Or, oh girl, yeah, he not gonna get over all me. Or, oh wow, I never thought about it like that. I'm gonna implement that now. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel empowered when you come here. That's what I want you to feel. So I want us all to commit to being the heroes of our own stories, anchored in faith, and being a girl's girl, okay? That's what I want for you. So if you found this video inspiring, I want you to give this video a thumbs up. I want you to share this video with a friend that you think could use this pep talk, could use this Rover rant. It takes no time for you guys to just give the video a thumbs up. It really helps to push this further in the algorithm because on this channel, we are girls, girls, and we want to help spread the word. We want people to catch on to this. We want people to be able to be inspired. We don't want to gatekeep because we don't gatekeep on this channel. Okay. So stay positive. Do not forget that I love you and God loves you. And I will speak to you, beautiful angels in my next video. Mm -hmm. <laughs>